this video, we are taking a look at problem 1.15 from Griffith's Introduction to Quantum Mechanics, third edition. We want to show that the time derivative of this integral minus infinity to infinity of psi 1 star uh, psi 2 dx is equal to zero for any two normalizable solutions to the Schrodinger equation with the same potential, so the same v of x. Um, and then we have these two wave functions, psi 1 and the psi 2. So uh, to start, let's actually start with the Schrodinger equation. It kind of tells us to do that. So starting with the Schrodinger equation, i h bar uh, d psi of x comma t uh, dt is equal to minus h bar squared over 2m d squared psi of x comma t dx uh, d squared psi dx squared um, plus v of x comma t times psi of x comma t. Okay, so that's what we're actually starting with. Uh, but then we say, okay, well, the potential is only a function of x. So let's adjust that to be v of x. And then for the sake of making things uh, simpler, we're going to just factor out that psi from this term and this term. And so we have i h bar uh, d psi of x comma t dt is equal to, open the bracket, minus h bar squared over 2m d squared psi dx squared. I dropped my arguments there because I'm getting lazy, and also I shouldn't have written psi because we're factoring it out. So d squared dx squared plus v of x and the bracket, and then we're going on psi. And I guess I will write my arguments then, so psi of x comma t. Uh, okay, so we want to divide this by i h bar, and all of this will be abundantly clear, clear why we're doing it in a second, and you'll see the logic. Let's divide by i h bar. So we have d psi of x comma t dt is equal to, and then when you divide by i h bar, just remember that you have, uh, so you're dividing by 1 over, or you're dividing by i, so you have 1 over i, and so if you multiply by i over i, you get i over minus 1, which is just minus i. So in other words, dividing by i h bar, we're still dividing by the h bar, but we might as well be multiplying by minus i. And so just try to get quick when you do that, um, and you, you know, you're, you'll do your algebra quicker. So we have i h bar over 2m uh, d squared by dx squared uh, minus i over h bar v of x all on psi of x comma t. Okay, let's call this equation one. Again, we'll see why in a second. We'll just need this, but this is an easy place for me to start the problem. Uh, and then let's take the conjugate of both sides, the complex conjugate. Uh, and so we get d psi star of x comma t dt is equal to, and then just flip the signs, minus i h bar over 2m d squared by dx squared plus i over h bar v of x on psi star of x comma t. Okay, so why are we doing this? We're doing this because we want to go back up to this line right here, and let's bring that time derivative in and apply it to both of these. When we do that, we have to do the chain rule. So let's do the chain rule. And so I'll, I'll write out that line again. So we have d dt of that integral from minus infinity to infinity of psi 1 star psi 2 dx. That's equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity of d dt on those two, psi 1 star psi 2 dx. And then... Again, like I said, that's just the chain rule, so that's going to be equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity. Open your big parentheses. We'll do d psi 1 star by dt times psi 2 plus psi 1 star. I'll leave it alone now. This is the chain rule. d psi 2 by dt. And we still have our dx out, uh, out there for our integration. And this is why we got these two things, 1 and 2. So we can plug in, uh, let's see, one, uh, plug in 2 right here. 
and then we'll plug in one over here. Okay, so plugging those in, I'm just going to write out this line and you can check it and uh, check my steps here. So we have integral minus infinity to infinity and then open parentheses, open your bracket, minus ih bar over 2m d squared uh, psi 1 star by dx squared plus i over h bar v of x times psi 1 star and then we have psi 2 on the outside and then we're going to add to that psi 1 star on the front open another bracket and that's basically the same thing we're just inserting 1 now ih bar over 2m d squared psi 2 sorry not psi squared d squared psi 2 uh, dx squared minus i over h bar times v of x times psi 2. And then close the bracket, close the parentheses, and then we have dx. Okay, let's look at these. Um, this first term here and the third term here, those don't help us very much yet. But this, my, uh, this uh, positive i over h bar times v times psi 1 star times psi 2 on the outside don't forget the psi 2, is the same thing, or it's uh, it subtracts with this minus i over h bar v, psi 1 star from comes in, and then we have psi 2, and so those are the same term. So let's just cancel those. Uh, same term, opposite signs, obviously, so that we can cancel them. And so then we get the integral, let me write this correctly here, integral minus infinity to infinity, open your parentheses, minus ih bar over 2m, uh, d squared psi 1 star, dx squared, um, psi 2, and then we can add psi 1 star, uh, make sure I'm doing this correctly, okay, ih bar over 2m, d squared psi 2 by dx squared, and then we can close that parentheses and do dx. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, factor out an ih bar over 2m. So that's equal to ih bar over 2m. And then we'll do the integral from minus infinity to infinity. And then open parentheses. I'm going to re redo the order because I want to subtract the second term. Um, not, not necessary, but I'm, I like it clean, cleaner like that. So I'm writing the second one first, and then I'm going to subtract off the d squared psi 1 star dx squared psi 2 dx. Okay, and then you look at this and you, you say, of course, it's integration by parts, um, or you stare at it for a while until you, you realize that eventually. But no, this is definitely integration by parts. This will be our u, this will be our dv, and then over here, this will be our dv, and likewise, this will be are you, and then just to remind you for integration by parts, we have that the integral from some limits a to b of u dv is equal to uv at those limits a to b minus the integral from a to b of v du. So that's what we're doing here. Um, and I just recommend that you get very comfortable with integration by parts. You'll do it a lot uh, throughout quantum one, quantum two. Uh, very, very useful. Okay. So let me actually apply the integration by parts then. And I'm going to write all this out and then we'll, we'll take a look at it. So we have ih bar over 2m out front. And let's just open a, a big bracket here. So this is going to be the psi 1 star uh, times d psi 2 dx, so no longer d squared psi 2 dx squared, it's just the first derivative, and then we evaluate that at minus infinity to positive infinity, and then we subtract from that the integral v du, so that's minus infinity to infinity of d psi 2 by dx, and then d psi 1 star by dx, and then dx, there and then we can do minus 
So this is this minus sign that I just did is this one right here. So we need to probably open a parenthesis so that we don't lose track of distributing that. So we minus the integral minus infinity to infinity. Um, sorry, excuse me, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So minus, let's do our boundary, psi 2, uh, d psi 1 star by dx evaluated minus infinity to infinity. And then another minus sign, this is our minus VDU term, uh, integral minus infinity to infinity. And then we just have d psi 1 star by dx and then d psi 2 by dx. And then another dx, close parentheses there, and then close your bracket from out front. Okay, and then we can say that this term is equal to zero. Why can we say it's zero? Well, when you plug in infinity and minus infinity, the wave function has to go to zero. It's normalizable. And so it's, uh, it's a normalizable function, which means, you know, it's, it's got to go, you know, to infinity, or it's got to go to zero as it goes to minus infinity, and then does something in the middle, and it's going to go to zero again as it goes to positive infinity. So that's just a very, very rough sketch, but um, that's what we're doing here. And so this is likewise going to equal zero. Okay. And then you see that we have a minus. So I h bar over 2. Let's keep that out front. We have a minus this term. And then minus a negative means we're adding this term. And it's the same term. And so we have minus the term plus the term. So we have i h bar over 2m times 0 is equal to 0. And so thus, we see that the time derivative of that integral minus infinity to infinity of psi 1 star psi 2 dx is equal to 0 if they have the same potential v of x.